Lord be with you. What a better place to worship the Lord our God, the King of creation, than by the sea on this beautiful big beach on Trovor, County Waterford. And as I look out to sea and along by the cliffs heading out to Fenner and Anstown and on to Bunmahan, I'm reminded of that wonderful line in the Vanity from Psalm 95, which we sing at morning prayer. And it's a great line that encapsulates all this. The sea is his and he made it. His hands molded the dry land. And next Sunday is the Sunday before Advent when we celebrate the kingship of Christ. And this king, this Jesus Christ, is the most hands-on king you'll ever come across. Not for him the ceremonial head of state finery and and fine dining, uh, he's more into the job of being a shepherd. A shepherd who looks after his sheep and each one of us being precious to him. And indeed, I see him more like a very loving parent. One who is there all the time, ready to help, ready to listen and understanding in, in what we're going through. And so it's a cause for celebration the kingship of Christ. And the psalm for next Sunday is very much a celebratory psalm, Psalm 100, which I will read from the Book of Common Prayer. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And in reading that psalm, perhaps it's strange that there's no actual mention of the word king in it. And yet, that psalm contains the reasons why we worship Jesus Christ as the king of creation. Because as God come to earth, Emmanuel, he is the creator. So we are joyful in him. The whole earth is joyful in his kingship. And there are three reasons that stand out for me in this psalm as to why we worship Jesus Christ as King. First of all, the line, we are his people. That means he has made us. He has made each part of us, each creature, each landmass, from the smallest atom in my inner ear to the great continent of Antarctica, which is amazing to think about where the ice is over a mile thick in most of it, and it is twice the size, almost twice the size of Australia, although it's getting smaller, as in my lifetime, 25,000 square kilometers of Antarctica have melted away, and the warming oceans are being raised in levels by the melting of that ice. Three millimeters, um, a year, scientists tell us, and that rate is growing. So he made us. He made all of what we see around us. Uh, but we have responsibilities. And indeed, we are reading in this psalm that we are his. In other words, he has elected us to be his servants here on earth. And that means that we have responsibilities, um, we are his hands, his feet, uh, we are the ones that are to do his will. Um, and so there's a responsibility um, and it's a tall order. But the third reason gives us great hope because it says we are the sheep of his pasture, which basically means we're not on our own. We're not sheep left out without a shepherd. The shepherd is there to guide us, to help us to help us do things that perhaps we couldn't even imagine being able to do. And they are the challenges that we face, but we have help. 
and that's the reason we celebrate the kingship of Christ next Sunday. And as we worship, we ask the question, how are we to serve this king of creation? Perhaps it's in planting trees to soak up that carbon dioxide which is causing the warming of the oceans. Perhaps it's looking out for our neighbours, particularly for those who can't get out to the shops or during bad weather or during this pandemic, making a phone call, getting in touch and helping in any way possible. And in all of that, we are to do it joyfully. We are to praise God. And indeed the first line, O be joyful in the Lord all the earth, the Latin translation of that be joyful in the Lord, is Jubilate Deo. And Jubilate Deo, we might know from our hymn books, hymn 701, is a version of Psalm 100, um, set to music by Fred Dunn. And it is worth singing and it's worth remembering that in all of the challenges, we have help from Jesus, the King of creation, and we are to praise him and worship him. So let's do that. And as we sing, we are accompanied by the sounds of creation and the wonderful oceans of Tremor here behind us. Jubilate Everybody serve the Lord in all your ways and come before his presence singing. Enter now his courts with praise. For the Lord our God is gracious and his mercy everlasting. Jubilate, jubilate, jubilate Deo. Jubilate, everybody, serve the Lord in all your ways and come before his presence singing. Enter now his courts with praise. For the Lord our God is gracious and his mercy everlasting. Jubilate, jubilate, Jubilate Deo.